I have prepared a 12.2 database that I would like to upgrade to database 19C. And for the purpose, I will use a rolling upgrade. This is my environment. Prod1 is the primary database which runs on BM1. The standby database is called Prod2 running on BM2 and this is the future primary database. We call Prod2 the leading group master and the original primary database is called the trailing group master. First, let's prepare. I'm connected to the primary host, BM1. First, I confirm that the database is 12.2 and I verify the data guard setup. Then I'm creating a user and a table that we can use to keep track of the progress of the update just to ensure that no data is lost during the rolling upgrade. Now, first step, init plan, and then I specify the name of the future primary database, my standby database called prod2. This will become the future primary. And then I build the plan. Now the database has created a plan for the rolling upgrade. I can query DBA rolling plan to see all the steps on which database that they will execute and the phase that they belong to. 86 rows in total. Now I can start the plan. I can then build the logical standby and prepare for SQL apply. I'm connected to the primary database and I call the start plan procedure. After a little while, I can use the data guard CLI to verify that the Prod2, the standby database, is now converted into a transient logical standby. And I do that by using the show configuration command. And DataGuard Broker has now seen that the database is in rolling maintenance. I can also see from DBA rolling plan that the first phase, the start phase, is now successfully completed and the database is pending the switch over. If I look in the DBA rolling events view, I can confirm the same. And there is a notice here saying that the prod 2 the logical standby, must be upgraded and started in the new Oracle home before the switchover can happen. So now let's insert a new record. Plan started, prod 2 is now the logical standby. Then I switch to the standby host and connect to the standby database. When I select from the table, I can see that the data has been inserted there as well. This proof that SQL apply is working, changes are getting synchronized. So let's go ahead and upgrade the logical standby. The users are still connected to the primary database to prod1. Redo apply has been changed to SQL apply. And now I can open the standby database and do the upgrade to 19C. I'm connected to the standby host and I have a very simple auto upgrade config file. Nothing special here. And then I go ahead and upgrade the database with auto upgrade, kick it off in deploy mode. After a while, the database upgrade completes. And now there are some post upgrade tasks that I need to take care of. Do the required changes to the listener and then copy in the broker configuration files to the new Oracle home and then restart the broker. After that, I can connect to the logical standby and then restart SQL apply. After that, I prepare the logical standby for becoming the primary database. I create a log archive destination that points back to the original primary database, back to prod one. I don't need it yet, not until I do the switch over. Back on prod one, the primary database. It is still running 12.2, nothing has happened here. Now let's insert another record, TLS upgraded, prod one is still primary database. 
Then I switch to the logical standby to prod 2. I can see it's running on 1910. It has been upgraded. And the records have been synchronized in, in my table. See there, the third record. Everything is getting synchronized. Knowing that data is still flowing to my logical standby, I can now proceed with the switchover. It's a regular data guard switchover. The replication order is reversed. The new primary database will become prod2 and prod1 will become the standby database. Connected to prod1, I use the switchover procedure. It'll do all the magic for me. After a while when the switchover completes, I can verify the data guard config. Prod2 is now the primary database. Typically a switchover takes a few minutes and after that the services are then started on prod2, the leading group masters. And from an end user perspective, the upgrade is now completed. The users can connect to an upgraded database. But the DBA still has some things to do. Now the users are connected to prod2. Prod1 has to be restarted in the 19C Oracle home. And then the DBMS rolling procedure will then flash back the Prod1 database back to when we started and then use redo apply to upgrade the database to 19C and put in all the changes from Prod2. To do that, you have to stop the trailing group master Prod1. You have to change the clusterware con configuration, copy SP file, password file and so forth if needed and then restart it in the new Oracle home. This you have to do manually. After that, while connected to Prod2, the new primary, I can use DBA rolling plan to see which of the steps that are missing, the, the steps in the finish phase. There is a flashback database and start media recovery. This is the redo apply. So let's go ahead and use the finish plan to get started. After a while it completes, I can then verify the data guard setup, Prod1, is now a physical standby database. So, as you could see, very few steps to do a rolling upgrade with very little downtime. But there is one important thing that you must be aware of. After converting a database to a logical standby, all the previous level zero backups are no longer usable. So one of the first things that you must do after converting to a logical standby is to start to take a new level zero backup. And you should at least have done that before you allow the users to connect to that database.